My name is Sandy. Welcome to my time travel store, where we sell all kinds of goodies from different eras. Hey look, my old friend Grunt is here. Sandy, mm, me sell mammoth milk. Mm, want sell online? Sure, let me help you. Okay, here we go. The best tool for creating a website is HTML or Hypertext Markup Language. HTML describes all the headings, paragraphs, or images that make up the website. Let's create your first web page with a text editor or a notepad after you finish hitting that rock with another rock grunt. Uh, yeah. Now, we're going to create a tag. Hmm. What do? Doc type refers to the type of document. In this case, it basically lets the web browser know that this page is written in HTML. Now, let's type in the HTML tag. The open angle bracket HTML close angle bracket tag tells the browser that this is an HTML document. Most tags have an opening and a closing part. Mm. Mm. Next, we come to the head tag and the body tag. The head tag is the area where the important stuff is processed first, like CSS and JavaScript. The body tags are the ones that contain the website content. We will add some contents here later. Mm. Now, Grunt, we should give this web page a title by using a title tag. Me one call Ooga Booga Mammoth Milk. Sure, so let's type in the title here. Great, now our web page has a title. Let's add in some contents now. Me excited. So let's add a header in between the body tag. H1 simply means header. There are different types of headers. Let's try them out later. Then let's add some text in the header. Let's add fresh mammoth milk. At this point, we should save the file as index.html. This is usually the first page of a website. Preview your file with your web browser. Drag and drop it into the browser area and you should see it pop up. Looking good! Now, what would happen if we change the h1 tag to h2 tag? Hey! Seems like Grunt is very tired as he time traveled here from the Stone Age. Let's take a photo of him sleeping. <laughs> well, I think we will continue the lesson next time. Anyway, you should give it a try yourself. See ya! <laughs> Welcome back to the Time Travel Store! Hey, Sandy, what we do today? So previously, we have set up a web page for Grunt to sell mammoth milk. Today, we will add the product to the web page. Let's get it started, shall we? Go! Go! Okay, here we go! First of all, we are going to add the image of the mammoth milk to the website. Let's type in the image tag. The word SRC, which is also known as the source, defines the location of an image. In this case, the location of the image will be... Now, let's preview our index.html file with the browser. There you go! We have added the image of the mammoth milk. Cool! Let's add in more information below the mammoth milk image. Let's add the UL and LI tag. UL stands for unordered list. You can add as many LI tags as you want. Now let us add in some information. Then let us preview the website again. Simply click the refresh button. There we go! We have added the information of the mammoth milk. Mm -hmm. Looking good! Let's add the B tag to the word 250ml. 
B tag means bold. Grunt is bold. Now, Grunt, let's add in the EM tag to the word less sugar. Can you guess what EM stands for? M? Emily? Emily, our friend. Wow, is she from the Stone Age? Oh, anyway, EM stands for emphasis. All right, let's preview the changes with the browser. Great, now we have made the text bold and italic. Sandy, me hungry. Mm. Hey, I guess it's time to have a break now. We will continue the lesson next time. Meanwhile, maybe you can try to change the UL tag to OL tag and see what happens. Till next time, toodaloo! Sandy, look, me grunt just got a new iPhone. Cool phone. Wow, that's nice. It will be great if we can add your mobile phone number and email to your website so that people can contact you. Sandy, clever. All right, let's get started then. So previously, we used the UL and LI tag to add in the information of the mammoth milk. Now we will add in Grunt's contact details with the anchor tag. This tag means anchor. It defines a hyperlink, which is used to link one page to another. Anyway, hyperlink simply means link. Usually the anchor tag comes with the href attribute. href specifies the URL of the page the link goes to. Sandy, link to me, Grunt Cave Book. Sure. So now let's type in Grunt's Cave Book profile URL. Then we name the link as Grunt the Caveman. Now let's preview the HTML file. There we go. When you click on the link Grunt the Caveman, we will go to Grunt's Cave Book profile page. Perhaps we can try to make the page open in a new tab. Go back to the text editor, type in target equals open quotation marks underscore blank close quotation marks. Target specifies where to open the link. So this time the link is open in a new tab. Now let's continue to add Grunt's email. Now we will use the keyword mail to. Mail to will link us to an email address. In this case, it will link us to Grunt's email address. I have also added a break tag where it will insert a single line break. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the browser and give it a try. Click on the link, then a new mail window will pop up. Looking good. Let's add Grunt's phone number now. We have added tell. Tell simply means telephone. Then type in the phone number. We will name the link as call us now. Wow. Finally, we can preview what we have done so far. You will realize when you click on call us now, it doesn't have any action because it only works on mobile phone. When you are using the mobile phone and tap on the link, it will bring you to the call function. Here we are! We have set up a simple website for Grunt! Thank you, Sandy. Next time, we are going to style and beautify the website. So remember to visit the time travel store when you are free! Toodaloo! Booga booga! <laughs> Ah! <laughs>